Bella. All of the pets for our pirate cow. I am so sorry that we have neglected you for so long, but to the point where she almost wanted to go ahead and run away. <gasps> and look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Fern just got promoted to a design guru. Yes. All right, so we have snagged that promotion and now we just need to fabricate an eco part upgrade in order to start working on getting it to level six where we can level up into a next, uh, the next era of her civil design career that she wants to do. And meanwhile, Gene has now reached acting level three. <gasps> he can perform romance scenes with another Sim. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna maybe try that out on Fern in just a little bit here, because I could totally see him wanting to do that. But for now, Gene is currently working on uh, practicing his acting skill with our amazing llama. And it's also the lottery day. Deja vu with that, my friends. Deja vu indeed. But all right, hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4, The Green Family Legacy, where we just had an absolutely amazing party last time that went completely wild, kind of. It went late into the night. Everybody was super happy. We ended up having such a fantastic party that we ended up with a really weird skill boost where all of our Sims ended up, like Fern and and Jean, they both ended up having, um, <laughs> they both ended up having like a, a high, uh, oh, Aspen. Oh, Aspen wants us to join Aspen's friends. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. But that was for like the little kid groups. We'll have to talk to Aspen in just a bit. Uh, but they ended up having their charisma skill max out, which I thought was a glitch, but apparently is a feature, and I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess it was just such a fantastic party. Also, hey Jean, Unorthbox 2 gaming console is launching soon, and their marketing team thinks that you'd be the perfect celebrity partner to hitch their wagon to. Complete one of the following in the next 24 hours. Use the video station to upload any video footage you've captured. Our ad campaign will edit in the clip of... Uh, for social media and send you a payout for usage of your likeness or do an angry vlog. He would definitely not do an angry vlog. Six puddles of milk, Arabella, what the heck? Let's go ahead and like give her a little bit more time and pet her enthusiastically. And maybe let's go ahead, tip Arabella. You get enriched milk if you do that. Oh my gosh, that's just ridiculous. <gasps> you can practice guitar with your cow. Okay, we're gonna smother her in love for just a second. But I think Jean might actually take up that opportunity if we can to upload at a video station, like any video. Cause I think he's trying to show like, yeah, look, I can, I can do this acting thing. I'm sure I can do this acting thing. Huh, we'll have to think about that. Cause at the same time, if we practice our acting skill right now, we probably have a higher likelihood of passing the audition later today. We're gonna leave Jean to do that. And then we're gonna come over. Let me turn headline effects back on so I can see how our bond with Arbella is going great. Yay, I didn't know that we needed to have like that much of a uh, bond with her. Let's see, can we do anything else? I am not gonna be mean to Arbella. We're gonna pet her again. I feel really bad that it's taken me so long to like really bond with our cow. Oh heck, where are we going, Fern? I have no idea what that was all about, but I'm not gonna question it. Um, and then how are our, all right. Looks like we've got some, some eggplants we need to harvest and some watermelon that I might need to plant. Toby also needs a bath. Oh my gosh. Uh, but Fur needs to fabricate eco upgrade parts. And we're also trying before next Sunday to go ahead and carry on with filling the house with roses. So I think we might have Fern work a little bit on that goal too. So I'm gonna have her come in. Oh, yes. And actually part of getting the rose goal done would be getting all of these interior gardening things upgraded so they could actually have like eco upgrade parts. All right, we're gonna go ahead or like upgrade parts and actually function properly. I'm gonna put Fern's Eco Innovator machine in here, and we're gonna have her fabricate, fab, ugh, fabricate an Eco upgrade part. And then, what does she need in order to make it so that we don't never have to worry about watering these again? Plumbing upgrades and common upgrades. And then I'm gonna have her go ahead and work on getting some plumbing upgrades made. Fabricate, fabricate. 
And then let's get those plumbing upgrades, please. Why can't I not do floor lights? We're low on bits? Uh-oh. We might have to, like, recycle a whole bunch of stuff in a second here, but that's fine. But I'm going to have Fern work on those things. And then we'll check in on Jean. Because now Fern is finally making some progress on her weekly goal that she really wants to do. Of being able to go ahead and fill the room with flowers so that she can kind of propose romance and love to Jean. Which I think is adorable. Also, what just happened here? We spent a whole bunch of our parts. Did we fabricate anything? What was that, Fern? Fabricate an eco upgrade part, please. Alright, she's up to something weird. She's up to something very weird indeed, friends. Alright, hang on here. Uh-oh. Alright, one second. Alright, there we go. Just had to reload. We got that fixed. <gasps> Jean's audition starts in an hour. Okay, we really need to go ahead. I don't think his acting skill is going to get any higher, but we do need to go ahead and we need to have him become very confident, maybe a little bit more fit. He already is at level three fitness. Uh, let's psych himself up. Uh, actually, let's admire his fine self, which I think will give him a big confidence boost. Then we'll psych himself up. And he hasn't been like anywhere around Fern for a little bit. So let's let's go ahead and admire self in the mirror again. So maybe he won't get completely distracted by being next to somebody he feels flirty to. No offense to Alama. And then he'll be able to go ahead and maybe do well at this. So he's psyched up, really, really ridiculously looking good. So he's trying to give himself a big confidence boost. Oh, there was the bunny. I hope it's not being chased by a fox again. All right, and then I think we might have him maybe practice a touch more acting before he goes. No, let's let's hug the llama for luck, <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and we will like hug the llama for luck. And Fern has just finished her fabrication. Yes. Okay, so she has fabricated an eco part, so she has completed her daily task. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have her fabricate some more things. I got a ton of bits and pieces by having her run over to the recycler, by the way. So we have a bunch of these just ready to go. And meanwhile, we'll give a llama a big hug for luck. And we'll go ahead and feed him another friendly treat. All right. Good luck, Jean! Maybe I'll have him go ahead and buy a lottery ticket at the last minute. Yeah, we'll have him buy a lottery ticket because last time he got a lottery ticket, he actually won. So I'm going to have him go ahead and just like kind of put all his luck on that. Kind of crossing his fingers. And then we'll see if he has any luck at all. But otherwise, good luck, Jean! He's off. So he's off to his audition. Fern kind of pays attention to what he's doing with all of those audition things, but she, she, I think she doesn't really think the acting thing is going somewhere, and not in a mean way, just, you know, that seems like a bit of a stretch, and maybe they'll come up with some other kind of idea of what they want to do together in order to make such a great life together. But I think she's more thinking about, like, concrete things one can do to help the community. And the acting thing just sounds like somebody complimented Jean, you know? I don't think she realizes, like, no, he's really trying to make a go of this. But if this one falls through too, I think he might pivot away from the acting thing. And maybe either accept the next job somebody offers him, or just really focus on one of his true loves, which is his music. Alright, come on, Fern. I think we have plenty of time to work on getting more rose bouquets now. Also, how are our little plants doing? Well, that's a questionable answer. And meanwhile, Fern was feeling pretty happy because, oh, she's feeling really happy from that promotion. So I guess we'll say she probably will want to do a little bit more work trying to figure out uh, how to complete more of the errands around town. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead Yay! I'm going to go ahead and let her work on upgrading stuff. So let's upgrade this to automatic watering. And maybe I'll even let her do just a teensy bitch. Uh, let's add a vase. Let's do a white gold one on this one. And I think I might let her kind of like sprinkle more flowers around because 
that would be really cute to be able to go ahead and just fill this room with roses and then bring Jean in here and be like, all right, I have a confession. Madly in love. And then what else would be good for her to work on for town? So I have that she needs on her little piece of paper here. She needs to complete six more town errands. Oh, the tool town improvement quest. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I need to put down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six people in our Hinford on Bagley Council. And I think I'm going to choose one of those six at random and have Fern have a weekly quest from them to improve the town somehow through the tool mod. So I'm gonna roll the dice I have. And the dice chose Lavina. So our foodie, gloomy, creative village mayor who's recently gotten married to a man named Daichi uh, and had a baby just a little bit ago. Hmm, foodie, gloomy, and creative. I'm gonna roll the dice again. And it says number one. So her foodie trait, oh, Patchy, you scared me again. So I think Lavina is thinking we should do something about the foodie trait she has, which makes me think perhaps we should go ahead and improve town by adding a place for people to eat and have a little picnic. Should it be close by? I wonder if it could be. Oh, there's a picnic area up here that's not close by. But maybe we should make an area where people can have an easier to access kind of picnic, like a little foodie picnic. Should it be over here? I kind of feel like it should be in town. And we should set some stuff up so that it's easier for people to get some fun food. Hmm. Let me, let me follow this idea for just a second, friends, because we do have Ravashin's amazing mods. And now I'm thinking, what if we actually come in with some of Rava's mods? And it, there's like the buffet spawner. Here's like the chip spawner. Um, I know there's more stuff because I don't think we would want to set up a buffet. Maybe, oh, maybe more tea time trays. So maybe we need to raise enough money to set up some tea time stuff. Oh, that's really cute. So we could set up tea like that can be served in town. That is so perfect because the mayor also loves her gossip. So maybe that's what we'll do. So we need like 500 more samoles so we can get a tea thing. And then let's see, surfaces. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we'll figure out the cost of how much it would cost us to maybe get like one of the village pub things put up outside the village pub or do I have a better just like outdoor? Oh, that's cute. Like just how much would it cost? I'll add up the price and then subtract it. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Yeah, you just see everybody doing their cross, like their cross stitching right there. So we'll set up a couple tea tables in town with some tea. Yeah, this brunch one actually would be perfect. So we'll set, we'll get enough money that we can set up some tea tables in town with tea and chairs. Um, and then maybe is there a way to do like crumpets? I'm trying to remember because there's picnics, right? There's pick baskets. So picnic basket. Yeah, picnic. No, no, no. Let's try a picnic. Let's do picnic baskets. Yeah, so these picnic baskets I haven't used like at all. So I wonder, can I get like a picnic basket? And then can I pack food? Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe we can set like a picnic basket with crumpets over and then oh set a picnic requires food in the basket oh my gosh yes we'll make a picnic area and we'll also have a spot whoops i'm gonna sell this um well the picnic basket's so cute i really haven't used it enough i know we have a picnic basket in somebody's inventory but i don't remember where <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and snag this one. Oh my gosh it's adorable I, I can't believe I have forgotten these existed for so long. Here, we're gonna move the creepy jar full of uh, candy over there and picnic basket. Your cute self is going to move over here. Why not? Yeah, we'll figure out what to do with the picnic basket. So, oh, we'll have a picnic with the mayor. Okay, I'm writing that down now. 
picnic with the mayor and we need to set up two tables for spilling the tea down in town. And there might already be tables there, so it might just be I need to like put things on the tables. I also might need to upgrade the tool mod because there's a new upgrade where you can select multiple items at a time to move multiple things. <gasps> Audition passed! Well done, Jean. When people think of trashy vampire pirate romance, we want them to think of your face. <laughs> When people think of trashy vampire romance, we want them to think of your face. Wow. Okay. So he needs to develop his acting and fitness skill and get ready for tomorrow at 7, his very first performance. Invite over director and co-stars. Whoops. Okay. I don't want to do that just yet, but we could. But what? Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go hug the llama. I feel like he would absolutely, let's give the llama a party treat and then let's go ahead and let's actually shear his wool and let's hug him and we're going to, we're going to thank the llama and tell a joke about the, to the llama. Uh, oh, the box alarm's going off. Wow. Oh, look. Why is River the fox a bee lister? I'm not asking questions. Oh, look, River's being chased away. Yay! All right. And that, I think, is leading to the safety of Mage Date or Hazelnut over here. Oh, Hazelnut's an elder. Oh. Wow. I've never seen the fox alarm actually go off before. Meanwhile, Fern has successfully gone ahead and she has upgraded this um, for a watering system, which is great. And I would love to upgrade it for automatic pest control. So, ooh, and she changed this. Oh, that's so pretty. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have her like maybe take a photo of that. We could have her list it on Plopsy, um, but I feel like those things never sell. All right, let's see, where am I gonna put this? I don't really wanna put it over here. Fern, why can't I put it over there? Uh, here, we're gonna, we're gonna casually override a few things here. Let me put this Fern there, boom. Lovely. All right. So Gene actually did it, you guys. Oh my goodness. I think that he would be so excited to share that news with Fern. I'm going to let her fabricate. Um, how about some granola? Chips is actually making real life granola like right now, which I'm super excited about. Wow. Look at that fox be gong alarm. We need to get more of those. Those could be really useful. And meanwhile, we're gonna we're gonna thank Al because, like, truly, Primrose and Chickweed are getting on in years. Oh, that's making me worry. I'm gonna be honest. And then Hazelnut the Elder. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm worried about Hazelnut too. All right, that's amazing. Let's clean Al Llama's shed, uh, just to say thank you for like all of. All of his assistance in becoming a good actor. I feel like with a drama llama as your acting coach, how could you not end up having things go super swell? And meanwhile, Toby is having a great time making a mess, but Fern's mind is just completely occupied with upgrading these things, I think. Oh wait, she was hungry. That's right. I was having her fabricate granola. All right, I'm gonna let her go ahead and eat some granola. Jean's helping out Al Llama by cleaning that out. How's Arbella? Doing good. We could vacuum her shed to perfection. I mean, that's one way to do things. Oh. And meanwhile, Toby wants a walk so is literally cool. reeking. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we definitely need to give him a little bit of TLC pretty soon. Uh, but let's see. Fern's already done everything for her job. Patchy's come to say hello. And then I've been thinking we actually should do a few little upgrades to make it easier to clean these sheds. Because I've noticed that like Fern and Jean end up having to run super duper far away every time it's time to do that. Uh, so I'm going to give them better trash cans that are closer to where the animals are. So let me put down like a boardwalk trash can. Ooh, composter. Don't let, don't put don't turn that perfectly good trash to waste. You turn it into fertilizer. <gasps> Ooh, 
We're gonna put this composter over here. I completely forgot it existed. Rava makes the best mods. Well, I have a lot of favorite modders, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm, I, I do think Rava makes fantastic mods though. And that's really, I, I don't really have a favorite favorite. All right, we'll put that one over here too. And we'll just kind of see what happens. And if I can't use these, that's okay. They just look cool and they don't cost very much because they're literally a bucket. So we'll put this bucket over here. And then can Jean just add compostable items? <gasps> Whoa! He could put the whole flower arranging table in there. <laughs> All right, well, we could put in like this perch and this mushroom that we haven't done anything with. And uh, what? Wait, why is that granola worth $453? Fern, what are you eating? <laughs> is that really worth, what are you talking about? That is busted. Our granola, no, that's legitimately busted. I, I cannot justify doing that. That would be so naughty. $430 saith Sayeth the thing. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. All right. Meanwhile, ferns scrubbing her dishes. And you know what? By the end of the workday, I do want her to go ahead and finally upgrade some of these, these like constantly breaking things. Uh, common upgrade part. Yes, please. So I'm going to have her fabricate these parts because that makes them free and also makes them out of renewable materials. There we go, because we need common upgrade parts for this, right? Upgrade, yes. All right, I'll leave her to that. Meanwhile, Jean is puttering around here. And so he needs to go ahead and develop his acting skills and develop his fitness skill. So now we added things to the compost and I guess we just have to leave it. Oh, Toby, okay. We've got to do something about Toby. And you know what? Toby is always becoming a messy dog. I feel like we desperately need an, a better way to clean Toby other than the upstairs bathroom. There's just... Uh, it's finally time, guys. That's what I'm trying to express is it's finally, finally time where we can have these kinds of issues and we can go ahead and we can actually upgrade the house. I can't believe I extended the house and forgot to fix it up a little bit. I'm tempted to go ahead and put a balcony over here. So we'll think about that instead. Um, and Toby, Toby, Toby. How I wish I had an outdoor bathtub that functioned. Unfortunately, a lot of these don't work anymore. Um, hmm. I might put this glossy copper tub out. <gasps> you know what we need? We need a wooden bathtub. <laughs> I can make a wooden bathtub. Like, it can, isn't that furniture I can craft? Bar stool, dining table. Oh, I totally forgot about those. Oh, what if we actually had Fern just craft some dining tables for the little tea area? Oh my goodness, that would be cute. Hmm. Hmm. I could have sworn, hang on, if you can craft a wooden tub, Sims for handiness skill crafting. Let's see, it would be the woodworking. So I really should be looking at woodworking. All right, woodworking, yes, yes. So Sims for woodworking. I am pretty sure I can actually craft a nice, uh, Let's see, items, items, items. The bathtub is handiness level 10 or nine, pardon me. <laughs> All right, that's not our, our guy, Jean. However, that could very well be Fern. She can actually craft that bathtub. That's amazing. Uh, and we could go ahead and put it outside. So I think Jean for now is taking good care of the animals because he has such a good heart and we'll have him come and just take the dog upstairs. All right, let's go ahead and give Toby a bath. So much going down. Meanwhile, Patchy seems to like that we installed that upgraded watering system, which is nice. Oh, I forgot we had one over here too. Grow, little choco berries, grow. 
Hopefully they'll do well too. Excellent. All right. Kind of an interesting day. I know I've been a little all over the place, but we've come up with some great ideas. Let me double, triple put down. So for the mayor, mayors spill the tea, tea tables. So we want two uh, tea tables with, with tea trays in town. There we go. And chairs. And I think if we just make it really cute, then it should work out just fine. All right, good luck, Fern. And I'm really excited for tomorrow being the first day that Jean... <gasps> Night Thistle has died! Oh no! Oh, I think it's from old age, you guys. Oh, that's so sad. Now we need to befriend new, new wonderful, wonderful little animals. Oh yeah, Fern's gonna be really sad about that otherwise. And meanwhile, she's getting uncomfortable because it's super dirty around here. And Gene is getting really stressed from his vein streak. He wants to practice his acting again. I think the acting might be going a little bit to his head. I wasn't expecting that. I really, truly was not. All right, but we might have him go ahead and uh, maybe practice his acting for just a little bit. Because he's, he's bathing the dog, so I could see how he's thinking about his pirate role while he's splashing around in the water. All right, and meanwhile, Fern is working away. Oh, Jean's getting a phone call. Uh, I've heard you and Raul are good friends now. You're clearly getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. From Griffin! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, we might have to go ahead and give Griffin, our brother-in-law, even though he doesn't know it, a call soon. And I'm going to let Jean work on developing that acting skill. Okay, he's still tense, actually. So let's have him um, admire his fine self. And... No, no, where are you going, Jean? Go back, go back. I'll have him admire his fine self and try to calm down. And then we'll have him practice his acting because he's thinking about that. And Toby! Toby! Oh my gosh, Fern wants to take Toby on a walk to like kind of... Let's give him special smoochies. Okay, okay. And Toby also wants to go on a walk. All right, we'll go on a short walk with these two. Very short. Fern might have to donate to the world a pea bush, which would drive me crazy because then Toby would spend forever fighting squirrels in it, but still. All right. Meanwhile, just nice and busy in the household today. I kind of like how we just pivoted because Fern was like, yeah, I want to take him on a walk. Feel energized with my puppers. And Toby is much happier. Now he's clean. He's getting some attention from his people. I wonder where this juggling thing came from with Jean all of a sudden. Wow, he's got to practice for a little while. But it looks like confidence boosts learning the acting skill. So it should work out just fine. Meanwhile, Fern, how you doing? Having a good time with the puppy? All right, they're returning home. And she desperately needs to use the restroom, I think. What is Knox doing in our house? That is just so random. All right. No, Knox, got a minute uh, to help me with some recyclables? If you have a recycler and let me use it, I'll give you all the bits and pieces I get from it for free. How's that sound? Oh, wow, you've got quite the mess on your hands, don't you, you dirty little hoarder? Would you... What? Go away! Like, why do I have a chocolate berry growing out here, by the way? <laughs> Dirty little hoarder, my foot. Like, get out of here. What on earth was that even about, you rude dude? My goodness. Ooh, and our watermelon is finally ready to harvest. All right, what a busy day we have had. My goodness gracious. All right, I am Nox. You can just stay out of this. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go harvest that watermelon and harvest these eggplants because that will actually finally complete the helping things grow errand that Fern has had for forever. And meanwhile, Jean, like, oh, Toby's sleeping at his feet while he practices his acting. He really does have like all of the animals helping him out with this whole acting thing. 
There we go. And meanwhile, deliver watermelon to Agatha Crumplebottom. All right. Well, we'll work on that in a little bit. Uh, for now, do I want Fern to plant anything? You know what? Let's just call Agatha and be like, come on over. I'm going to give you these watermelons. Yeah, Let's dispose of this dead plant. <laughs> they really shouldn't have died. I don't know why. I even tried to upgrade my mods <laughs> to make it better. Oh, look, Agatha got here, like, immediately. What on earth? Oh, look, and she's taking the dead plant into the composter. Yes. Oh, that was so lovely. All right, so let's come. Agatha, how are you doing? Let's go ahead and maybe get to know. Our Roomba is out. Dirty my foot. Um, And we're going to go ahead. And we're going to deliver this freaking watermelon. <laughs> A perfect quality small watermelon, which did harvest one perfect quality oversized crop. Yes! Oh my gosh, now we just need to craft a whole bunch of animal treats and things will get even better. Oh, look at how cute our home is getting as we're slowly but surely adding things that these two actually use to make a, a home and a wonderful family. I love it. All right. Oh, and Jean has unlocked the trooper's looking glass, which will help him improve the acting skill much faster. <gasps> okay, so you actually have to buy that one. But once you unlock it, there it is! All right, unlocked from reaching level four of the charisma skill. I'm going to put it up with the dust bunnies, because I think that that would be really freaking precious. <laughs> to go ahead and just have this be up with the dust bunnies. We haven't used these, these things in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe move here. I'm going to move the painting easel over a little bit and then move this over here. And we'll see how that works out. I might need to scooch things a bit more, like move the dust bunny over one, but I think that will work out okay. And then this will actually, we'll say Jean pull it out of the attic. Uh, acting, oh! Now he's starting to get a little bit of passion for acting. I did not expect him to like take that pivot in life, but here we are. All right, guys, Gene actually seems to really enjoy this acting career he's got going. And meanwhile with Fern, let's deliver this watermelon. Phew, about time. And hopefully that makes Agatha really happy. And, yes, yes. Yay! Well, that girl's got a bit of a green thumb about her. Not too shabby. Yes! All right. So we only have to do like five more town errands, by the way, to, before we complete, uh, in quotation marks, that quest. But I do think that Fern is basically always open for anything. So let's actually offer to help with errands and see if there's anything that gives us more animal part upgrades. Because we have got a chicken coop to upgrade. That's apparently going to outlive our chickens. All right, a decorated gnome and oversized seeds. A fresh face, always lovely. Let's see, juicy gossip. Mm, no, I, I, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. <laughs> But all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. It seems like everybody has been having a very busy time. What on earth is going on, Amelia? Why are you just in my house? Is this like some sort of a thing that we have going on? Like ask about your day? Like, what are you doing in my home? It is very late for this, ma'am. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> like, all right, off you go, off you go. It's like getting late. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Jean and Fern, who are slowly but surely figuring out how to turn this house into a home uh, with all of its little hiccups, surprises, and composting bins. Yes! And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!